In our worldview today, the two Koreas have restored a key communication hotline, signaling signs of improving relations between the neighboring countries. The move came after North and South Korea exchanged letters to reestablish cross-border communication, and it follows more than a year of heightened tensions. Pyongyang cut off the hotline last year in response to activists sending anti-regime pamphlets across the border. North Korea also criticized South Korea for implementing international sanctions against the country. With communications restored, South Korea's defense ministry says the two countries plan to hold regular conversations twice a day. The first person to be tried under Hong Kong's national security law now faces life in prison. 24-year-old Tong Ying Kit was convicted of inciting recession uh, and terrorism for carrying a large anti-government flag that read, Liberate Hong Kong, Revolution of Our Times. A panel of judges handpicked by Hong Kong's pro-China leader ruled Tong's actions cause great harm to society. This case was seen as a key litmus test for how Beijing's national security law will be implemented and interpreted in Hong Kong's court. The law was passed last year as yet another move for Beijing to tighten its grip on the city. And one person is dead and four people missing in a German chemical explosion in the city of Leverkusen, just north of Cologne. City officials say the explosion occurred at a waste management facility that stored tanks for solvents. You can see it ignited a large black plume into the air with firefighters taking nearly four hours to put out the blaze. 16 people have been reported injured while residents have been told to stay indoors and shut their windows to limit exposure to the toxic fumes. The industrial park where the explosion occurred is also home to chemical companies Bayer and Lankies.